What's going on, guys? Turn this down a little. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. I'm not sure if you could have heard me the first time, but yeah. Welcome, guys. Uh, Mass Effect 2. With extra. Oh. Yeah, let's import that. Hopefully I can still change my character appearance a little bit. Uh, you know, I kind of like subtitle. No! Uh, I guess... Fuck subtitle. <laughs> uh, what's all this? Hopefully I get to edit my person a little bit. Because I think about taking out that little mustache of his. I know, I know. Some people might miss it. <laughs> Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're Geth. not a real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Oh shit, only a month later? Not even a couple of months vacation, just right to it. Disengaging FTL drives. Mission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could pop. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers!
Well, if not showing my face, I think I'm gonna have that opportunity. Get everyone onto the escape. Oh, little fire exchanger. You won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. Commander. Ashley, go. Now. Aye, aye. I notice it's whoever I sleep with be in this cutscene. <laughs> Could I recall Everybody someone else go, being here? Go, go. Or completely random. The last time I played this though, I, I didn't keep Ash alive. I kept uh uh Damn. Is it Caden? Nah not Caden. Man, I feel bad. Not even mean, remember his name, and he sacrificed his life. <laughs> Terrible captain I am. Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! Oh, yeah. We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! But we gotta save Rex! Rex. Not that way. Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. Yeah, uh, this ship definitely seemed better days. You know what? Can I wander? Can I explore? Oh, it's looking pretty dark over here. Nope, it's not looking like it. And I took the long way now. Look at my armor. I look popping. My little touche. Oh, let's get all this junk out of the way. There you go. Thank God I had my head to help. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Yeah, there's one thing I always was curious about if Cerberus is the one that shot me. I don't think I ever actually figured out that uh that theory. I mean, it could have been anyone. Sure, let's review the story. 
previous on Mass Effects. Oh, it looks like a comic book. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how but, it starts. Uh, he said but. Routine mission, <laughs> answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost Don't forget we had sex with her. That's when we saw it. The ship. Her Nothing ship. Nothing I'd ever seen. <laughs> it was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. And that's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime. And there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty. Beautiful Bell, like thank that. you for the follow. I appreciate it. Proof, which meant and thank you for being a first time proof. viewer here. Fortunately, I wasn't Hope your morning going myself. good. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security. Despite David Anthony, thank security, you for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you he doing? He told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. Little. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from Dark Damn, Rangers do I need to watch this whole thing? I thought it was just going to be a short summary. Anderson decided to Liara. I can't even skip a it. <laughs> Adept in biotics? No! Importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, yeah, I knew jealous. either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Ash I wasn't interested in Liara. I had my eyes on someone else. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, Arachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Arachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. 
We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benesi. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Oh, where you work Rex at? disagreed. And, uh, Violent yeah, thing. I know that feeling. It's like the moment the I walk in at work, I just want to leave. <laughs> I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. I work at a fast food place, down. so coming in and opening Rex in the morning and realized no one realized stopped or nothing. It really and that Saren was ruined the real my day. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his Is that like a... He was already in communication with the Reapers. Is that like a Saren. diner? Saren's flagship, we'd all assumed, was just a ship. It was a Reaper. It spoke or is it, it kind of like that one Breton. place, Love? I could you know, where uh, a bunch of truckers and people kind of park and take naps dead. and it stuff. Us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself, or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man, and a great soldier, but I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos. Oh, I like how I have a picture of Caden. I mean, I don't know if that's my desk, would be a but fight. there's a picture of him. <laughs> to my crew. We were just one ship. Yeah, I love Saren's love. Uh... I assured them I travel that despite the odds, so often. Not like it hasn't been in a while. But Ash saw through my words. Considering that I got in a wreck and everything, my car total. But uh, man, love coffees are pretty good. They also have a shower, right? Like uh, like a section where people shower and stuff. Love has a lot of stuff going on. But why? It's really fancy. We gave in to each other. Even I slept at love before. While it lasted, we arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean data bank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before. Man, I gotta, re I gotta but remember this. You know, uh, gift. never watched the Sarah comic. I mean, it, it's interesting and everything, but his army to take not like I. It's been months since I played the first the one, so it just it kind of reminded me everything I just went through. I kind of like it that it's all comics, though. I don't think they had on the he died original. Believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, 
Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. I bet working out love is interesting because you kind of meet all kind of people, you know, from all different states. But I knew in order to help them, I would have I mean, to I know, like, truckers and Jeff. stuff is one thing. You the know, they just want to go in and get their giant ass coffee and get going. And, and that's how I am. I love, I actually love the love disarray. coffee. It's pretty Even good. With the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs... Like crazy busy or crazy people? Because I could see both. <laughs> the war earned us our first seat on the council. It was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. I didn't much like Udina, but sometimes you need a pit bull on your side. Someone willing to be the bad guy, for the sake of the greater good. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I got Until I got shot. Group, took my ship and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to clean-up duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Yep. Wow, that took at least... That... That took at least ten minutes. That was a pretty uh, long... Uh, uh, Refreshment. <laughs> Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. At least Love doesn't have like lotteries and everything. I've worked at a gas station before and you know, I, I, I encounter some crazy people that loves buying a shit ton of lottery. And if you get it mistaken, like if they ask for a different kind and you make them repeat themselves, man, they, they hate it. They come in there expecting you know what they're talking about. <laughs> I never really got lottery. Same goes with the whole tobacco. I mean, like, there's just a lot of tobaccos I don't overly know. Yep, that's my head. Oh, look at my mustache. Yeah, let's, let, let's, let's. Will I be able to edit my import face? Yeah, let, let's let, let's change this up a bit. Let's let's cycle through. Let's see what it give us. Oh whoa! I wonder what all colors you can get. That last one seemed kind of red. Uh. Yeah, we'll go quick on this. Kind of green. You know, it's kind of hard to edit without hair, so let's go ahead and get some hair on him. Let's see what. I, mean, I can keep the hair I had, so we can like uh, 
Make sure he looks similar. Oh, that looks... Oh, what's going on there? Oh, yeah, I do. Do uh, Shepard want a faux hawk? Why'd my head change? <laughs> Keep that on for a second, just so I can look at this. Be like, Keep him looking. I'm probably not gonna keep the mustache on there. I just wanna kind of remember him, kind of how he was, so then I can just give him a little bit of change and everything, you know. I won't lie. I made I made him look pretty ugly. <laughs> so we'll try a little bit of blue. Uh, that looked blue. Yeah, we'll get a get a little some manly chin in there.
guess he kind of... Okay, let's, better right guys not disturbing <laughs> not overly creepy okay so 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 yeah let's go adapt flashbang grenade your team would give you access to the following bonus powers select one well I only have flashbang and it's still Poke. Poke Shepherd. Hmm. Something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stack's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med thing. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those can keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Oh, uh, that was a big blast. trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh... Yep, yep, uh-huh. Nope, nope. Nothing, nope. Oh, it's in Oh, it's in here. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out. Oh, Mac. Okay. Mac. Yeah. Robots. Yay, more robots. They just did so much better 
with the power on the second one. That's not my shield. Have to tell me twice. Take the elevator down one floor. Uh -huh. Hurry, elevator. What? Oh. What? I can't hear you. Did you say order Taco Bell? Okay. So what are you guys doing? What you. Ow. Well, that was not nice. subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Yeah, but I just stole money from them. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Well, that's my name! Wait, did he call me Captain? Yikes. Log update. Thank God I wasn't the captain. Project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Uh, sorry. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You don't need me to tell you that. Keep using your good stuff. Yeah, pull them. Yeah. Okay, I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. 
but I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the Lower Decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the Non-Alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check! Check! Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. <coughs> Sorry about that, guy. I think I'm getting been a little spotted. cold. Damn it, Wilson. This room is full of mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, I can't blame it. But not like he asked for all this. Oh they found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry, they're out of control. Up those stairs. Shepard, down here. Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> We talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Wilson. Oh, that not what I meant to do. Bad. He needs help. Yes, I'm Save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... ...overloaded canisters to clear a path from the shuttles. There ain't anything behind me. Systems don't know when to quit! What that? shuttles is through those canisters. Yeah, what they want me to do? Overcharge? Which one? That one? Uh, right? No, 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 no. Well, that didn't do it. <laughs> Oh, you. That 
That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. They've seen us. Gravity's one I don't know exactly where to go. I could have probably been engineer again, but cause I know in the later game the engineer isn't that bad. Is there any goodies? I feel like that's where I need to go, so let me check over here. Maybe they wouldn't expect me to kill all these guys. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Well, that seems pretty, uh... If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Well, that seemed like everything I just asked Enough him. station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? 
Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you, if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died in a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day. Seemed didn't pretty uh, harsh question to ask. Save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Well, that's a nice looking uh, ship. Look like a bridge. <laughs> the elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Oh, I bet he is. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. What did I do? Kill me? Oh, they brought more outfits. That pretty. That pretty cool. <laughs> Most likely this. This looks fitting. I got a leather jacket, so obviously I would be wearing that. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memories still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and Ageth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. 
Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? <laughs> if I knew that, I wouldn't need to say. Good morning, gamer girl. Find How are you doing? You can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Level three? Oh shit. I didn't even think about leveling up. Forgot this is different. You know, just woke up a bit ago. Uh, starting the stream. Uh, you know, it's still pretty early to uh, determine how my day will go. I mean, I got a chiropractor later on to go to. But other than that, it's just another day. Finally getting all my paperwork figure it out with the uh, insurance and everything so I can start looking for another vehicle. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? It already sucks because of... Well, I never dealt with any wrecks and everything. Like accidents, you know, on the road and everything. Uh, so all this is just stressful. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Yeah, and it's already stressed me out enough because I have to go to a chiropractor for three times a week for eight weeks. And I'm going through a settlement and see if I can, you know, get this all paid off with uh, a settlement but if I don't get a settlement then I'm gonna have to pay all this uh, medical bills and all that stuff so uh, it's, it's a little it's a little overwhelming I won't lie Looks like everyone see I'm one of the people of you know if you ask me how am I doing I won't just say like oh I'm doing good thank you for asking you know, I mean, I get, I get, I get real. I guess that's the only way I can really explain it. I know sometimes people just say it just to break the ice and everything. Because I can tell when I start talking about it, it goes on for a couple minutes. But they're like, uh, yeah, 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 can you shut up now? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how to play. How you doing, man? 
what you got going on later on. Give me one second anyway. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Is there anything? the same room yeah I know that feeling you just gotta wake up and get ready for your day like what I would uh, explain to a uh, beautiful bell waking up in the morning going for work find out nothing is stopped or anything or Dishes weren't put up. You know, they just left it in the sanitized sink. Incoming. You know, it, it just gets tiring to do all this stuff. Oh, God! I don't think I was able to jump over it from the first one. Get away from the damn dog. Get into cover. Okay, right, just miss, I guess. Reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. And what, what's with all the mechs? Wall safe. Don't mind me if I steal. Oh, what's going on? I remember this. Um. Okay. Honestly, I thought she said she sees me. I'm like, well, thank God you can see me. Oh, my God. I'm about to die. Unless. Unless. Oh, please don't fuck. Ooh, that was close. That was close. chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's the hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the best state to answer questions. He was injured and uh, nervous around. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. 
Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. I do look a little depressed. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm sorry, guys. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thank you. I'm going to try to be we'll take care of as nice as I can. Because I know on this one it's very Oh my god, I missed so many shots. Don't don't judge me. It's terrible. Circles. Use overload on him. Yeah, use that shit on him. Man, I get hurt easy. <laughs> Do they not use their ability? Yes. Nice. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I Let me uh check something. No, not that. Uh g gameplay, probably. Squad power use on. Yeah, okay. So they should be using it on their own. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. That's a shame. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading. I mean, I guess it might help me we'll out if I need the, Shepherd, the help. Point. Because there's been a few time on the Don't first drown. one. It would have been nice to have the ability on hand, but because they use it all the time. I mean, I don't have my, I don't mind how to do. Oh shit! That guy got fucked. Poor alien. That max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. So glad we got power. Oh man, I'm not in a good spot. Ouch. I doubt Flashbane will help. Uh-oh. 
He's getting kind of close. So see, on the first one, this X with a uh, throw grenades, and I always keep pressing X because I kept trying to reload. But now X is to reload. It, it's always just messed me up. <laughs> oh, hey guys. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. The back of the loading bay. Is it the loading bay? Monsters coming back. Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you freeze you then the monsters take you away why didn't the collectors take you swarms didn't find me monsters didn't know i was here the collectors aren't known for being careless maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans only human colonies have been hit What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. 
You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Ooh, spooky. Shepard, oh, now I'm gonna get yelled at. Progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Man, I wish I had like a room Good. like this. Just a chair and a whole giant-ass TV. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. 
Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Fancy and shiny, it still has the new spaceship smell. I wonder what that would smell like. Windex? The wood spray? Probably not wood spray. <laughs> not even made of wood. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Maybe it smells like a inside of a car when you first get one. Up, up, and away! Oh no, the ship kind of moving kind of slow. Oh, there we go. So fabulous. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Yo, know, I didn't do so bad making this character. I strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Yep. Yipper. Oh, now I can check my emails. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Interesting, very interesting. Holy shit, an elevator. What a many new features for your ship, an elevator. Oh yeah. I don't think I actually ever seen my bed on the first one. Coolio. Man, they could have a lot of team. So, I never played any of the DLCs. I wonder if the extra slot is like the DLCs. I don't recall this many characters. No, I don't. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and go to the the citadel. Oh shit, okay. I forgot that. Get the feel. Uh huh. Father, the fucking father. My my, there's a lot of stuff. Recruit the mass. Massive thief. Okay, so it does sound like I get new characters in this game. And that's gonna be exciting to me because, I mean, why wouldn't it be? I never actually played the DLC. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Like, what do I know? Indeed, let's go. Let's go to the Citadel. Mm, yep, aliens, people, more aliens. Yep, this place seemed familiar. I should take option kind of small nemesis ass up there. Oh look, a keeper. Good times. Can I help you, sir? No, thank you. Just passing through. Next. Next. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, 
dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him... Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. So you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the Station Security Administration to reactivate your IDs, then to Customs and Immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. Kinda like Officer Bailey. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, Eat. something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yeah, why would I ask him why he joined? Uh, Good day, my uh. friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I don't like ships. Hmm. Yep, that place so much different. What can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, no, that's my cousin. You know By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. <laughs> Man, he's I'm making me feel flatter. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. So what do you think? Man. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that. Not game. yet. It's based Maybe on not ever. Mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has Those oh, there is. It's been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone, comforting to some. I mean, I guess. Living I mean, it looked kind of different. Stand. The people want to. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lanier. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You walked out in the middle of the interview. Made a lot of humans question what the Council might be hiding. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? 
Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. Yeah, he Sources did not look claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shenyang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. Did we get it? Great. Man, I'm just becoming good just talking to people. Don't have to... Well, I mean, look how good I'm getting. I didn't have to pull up gun at anyone. Man, I am so cool. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, since this place looks a little different, it kind of, I can't really remember. I think there's stairs in this area, but I honestly don't remember. It'd be nice to meet this thief. I don't. I don't recall uh, finding a thief. That's why I'm wondering if it's just because of the DLCs. Well, of course I gotta do this. That's it? That, that was a little weird. That was a little awkward. That was an awkward dance. Yeah, maybe we should get out of this area. Oh, hello. Well, I found the bathroom. In case anyone was wondering where that was at. Oh, yeah. Clubbing. My thing. Whoop, whoop. Okay, guys, so that's probably going to be the it for this stream. Let's go ahead and just get that saved. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is, I am actually kind of excited because it does feel like it's going to be a little different. I could be completely wrong, though. But, um, like, there's just something that I don't exactly recall when I played this back then. So I'm hoping, uh, there will be added new players because that'd be really interesting. And it could just be, like, I don't know if they're just adding them. Uh, adding a new character in here because a new, technically new game of remastered or, yeah, remastered. So, but I, I don't know. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to see where this goes because nothing would make this game more funner and experiencing it with new companions. Oh, uh, I see Bear Wife uh, one. Hap and thank you. I appreciate that. That, that means a lot. Uh, but that being said, you know, thank you all. Um, check me out on uh, YouTube, Pookie Entertainment. You know, that's where I do my stuff. Uh, and yeah, I hope I see you guys next time. And I hope you enjoy the series. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. And <laughs> thank you. Well... You guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>